Right people, so welcome back to the channel. I am freezing right now and I had to double take in the morning that I actually did this, but yep, I have indeed bought an ex-police Volvo T5. Enjoy this little montage and then I'll explain what on earth is going on here. Alright, so now we've got two white five cylinder engines. Now I'm just gonna get straight to the point. The reason why I bought this car is I always wanted to have, well, I say always, the last few years of doing this whole content thing. I wanted to get an ex-police car, I don't know what it is. And then they don't come much more characterful than this. If you're not from the UK, basically the British police force used to use these a lot back in the days. It has a five cylinder engine, as I mentioned, turbocharged. And the reason why this one is special is it has a manual gearbox. I did pick this car up for around 1500 pounds. I bought it from an ex-police trade center. It came in as a trade-in for another police car. Like it isn't straight off the force because it is an 07 plate. But yeah, I did get some clips on the day. Right, so I think you can see just over there. He's left it outside, probably doesn't really care and it probably wants it off his stock. All right, so we're here at ex-police cars by a main road and loads of traffic, but it's all good. Got the T5 here. Plenty of ex-police cars here, so I thought I'd do a little clip to insert the video. Got a Mini here, Vectra VXR, an X5 as well. Yeah, I'm probably gonna film the rest of the video tomorrow after you're seeing this. Probably realize I've actually bought that thing, but yeah, man. We even had a Mark 5 GTI here the other day, but this is probably the most interesting thing. Yeah, you rarely see an, an Insignia VXR, let alone an ex-police one. Main man here is gonna give us a rev five cylinder mate it's an rs3 just an estate version no. it sounds all right isn't it? <laughs> clear mate <laughs> it just did a bang as well. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, my brain's a bit cold, and I'm just looking at this Swedish masterpiece just parked there in front of me. But uh, so many ideas we can execute with this thing. What I'll do, I'll give you a walk around now of all the things I've noticed. We are gonna take it for a first drive in the next video. Um, it has got a few little glitches. I've got the code reader as well, but yeah, we'll start with the bodywork as you guys know. Police cars have had their fair share of, well, I don't know much about this particular police car. If you're watching this video and you have driven it in the past, VX07 LUJ, give me a shout on Instagram. I'd like to know more about it. I did get any paperwork. I only got two keys of the V5. Being an 07, it is a later one, so it's a facelift. Scratches everywhere. Here is a bit battered. Standard Volvo wheels, red brake calipers. Those calipers are pretty big, to be fair. They remind me a lot of the R32 calipers, which I'll just go over to now very similar design imagine if they're the same thing this one's even got wind deflectors it's like every car i buy just has wind deflectors it's got the roof rails as well as you guys know volvo made their name with fast estates back in the days with the five cylinder cars the a50r took part in the btcc crazy thing so hoping some of that kind of heritage has trickled down into these v70s other features of an x police v70 include cracked taillights which are nice adds to the character man you even got a tow bar so I can impound some of my mates' cars when they're getting a bit funny with me. We've also, instead of a T5 badge, we've got a drone sticker. Um, I don't know what kind of surveillance the guy who bought this after the police force was doing, but it's pretty suspect nonetheless. And we've got an eagle sticker, so I don't know, maybe this guy just liked flying up in the sky, whoever he was. Fuel filler cap even says V70 turbo on it, which is nice. I filled it up with 99 momentum on the way back, see. Gotta give the car its respect where it's due, man. Nice and solid. Yeah, it's all just pretty crummy. It's a bit battered, but that's what I like. Very driver-focused cabin, to be fair. You've got the handbrake as well. And there it is, the six-speed manual, which does perform pretty well still. Clutch is all still pretty decent. Uh, rubber mats all around. 
Can you imagine the amount of people that have been cautioned sitting right there? I mean, they must have just hopped in like this and be like, right. Do you know why we pulled you over today? Police cars did have little extras. I do have a brochure somewhere. You could even get like a baton holder, which I don't think this one has. Got carbon effect dash here. Must have been done afterwards. I highly doubt it came like that. But interestingly enough, this car has Bluetooth audio. It's come with a Pioneer head unit, which is nice. I listened to music on the way back from picking it up. All right, let's start this beauty up. I did start it up earlier, so it probably won't be a full cold start. 201,000 miles. Yeah, I left the ignition on before, so good job I, uh, yeah, battery almost died then. <laughs> now these things are front wheel drive. You could get the V70R in all wheel drive, but of course the police force in the UK never used the V70R. It was all about these T5s. Pop the bonnet here. Even the key is interesting. Look how many buttons they are. You Volvo guys are probably thinking, why are you so excited? I just am used to these VW group hatchbacks all the same. There we have it, five cylinder beauty. 2.4 liters now there were different variations of the volvo fire cylinder you can get it in a diesel variant as well i believe in the t5 it is close to 260 horsepower and about equal foot pounds of torque as well uh, feel free to correct me if i'm wrong but not a slouch by any means the note 60s were in the six second range even back then so by today's standards that is still pretty rapid it's mounted exactly like the rs3 transversely mounted five cylinder turbo crazy how such different looking cars have such a similar configuration right so i do want a lot of you volvo guys to let me know what to do with this car um, i have got a few fun ideas but i do want to take it to a proper place to do a video you know put it up on a ramp see what the condition is like um find out any issues the car's got i'm sure it's got plenty and maybe just do a kind of fun build on it i'm not going to make any huge promises right now i bought it for a bit of a laugh so whether it turns into something, I don't know. But yeah, make sure you are subscribed if you are new to the channel. We're very close to 100k now. Um, it'd be nice to hit that before the new year. Especially now with all the fire cylinder vibes going on. Yeah, I'm going to get this on a dyno very soon as well. But yeah, let's get some revs going. thing literally sounds like a dodge viper mate it's just funny and that's probably with a stock exhaust with a bit of a blow i think from what i can tell anyway the way it's idling it just feels like it's got a bit of a blow in the exhaust check this boot out though man oh, there's so much mold and all this crap along the edges man we need to do a video dedicated to just cleaning this i think rugged load liner and this cage divider thing which is pretty cool already got a high-vis jacket supplied with the car so maybe the previous owner was playing cop as well full-size spare as well and kitchen towel wrapped around the battery which is an extra feature i'm sure so i did scan it with this dice thing i managed to make it work on my macbook with windows 10 it was a bit of a faff we did get a number of codes i'll take a photo of it and put it on the screen the main code issue which is this reduced engine performance it was like this when i went to pick it up and i did test drive the car before committing uh, the reason why i carried on with the purchase was because it does boost quite nice in second and third it's not 260 horsepower plus so it's definitely not remapped like the car is meant to be or was advertised i haven't got no paperwork with the car uh, but it just feels like it's definitely got a flat first gear so it's like a semi limp mode there's no engine management light on uh, apart from that i really got anything else it hit 201,000 on the way back so whatever that reduced engine performance light is i'd like to know it's interesting when you've got a vehicle profile it shows you there like i've already done it in advance but you got v70 engine code b52 t5 m66 transmission of course manual gearbox you scroll over special vehicles you can select police so i did of course because it is an ex-police car i wonder if there's any way of me getting the ex-police uh, history because um, I know a lot of this stuff was done in-house usually when the police force uses them It's a shame they don't use cool cars like this anymore. They just use 330Ds which are just generic But I suppose Volvo don't make them themselves anyway anymore. So they've gone boring themselves What a sound man. what a sound Handbrakes in like a proper drift car position as well. But yeah, I think that's a nice introduction to the new Volvo project car ex police thing let me know about all the details that I mentioned. If you are Volvo garage, tune in place, whatever. I want to do like a full inspection, 
maybe get the car remapped if it's all sound have a bit of fun with it we'll see how far we can push it in, in terms of like decals i'm not gonna do anything illegal of course but could take the mick out of a certain scene potentially subscribe for a lot more content to come drop me a follow on instagram with all details on that that's the best place to contact me and yeah guys stay tuned a few days time i'll have the first drive video up i'll show you how the t5 pulls